for whatever reason, there was something about love locks that just didn't really appeal to me. But I'd added it to my Amazon Prime watch list and it was at the top for so long that I thought, you know what, just I'll give it a watch. I'll see what it's like. Because really I was drawn to the poster art for it rather than the description, which sounds really vain and superficial. But the poster art for this is so beautiful. Then I read the description, set in Paris. I thought this is going to be really cheesy and cliche and full of Parisian love. And yeah, it is. But actually, it was pretty decent. It was released in 2017, directed by Martin Wood, with a screenplay by Neil H. Dabrowski. And this stars Rebecca Romage. I apologise if I've mispronounced that. Almost definitely has, as our protagonist, Lindsay. And... The description from IMDb sums it up quite well, and this says, quite simply, 20 years after she was last in Paris, a woman returns to the city of light where she reconnects with her college boyfriend and first love. So our protagonist, Lindsay, has taken her daughter to Paris because her daughter is going there to do a semester at school. And while she is there, as that description said, she happens to bump into her college boyfriend, who we learn very, at the very, very beginning of the film, her younger self and that boyfriend are putting a lock on the um, love lock bridges. When was this released? 2017? Was that pre or post bridge collapse? I can't remember. But either way, they're putting the lock on the bridge. 20 years later, she bumps into him again. Will they, won't they? This being a Hallmark film, this is going to be the main theme of wondering who she'll end up in a relationship with. There's also an additional love interest to complicate things, somebody who is perhaps connected to her career and her life back in England. Obviously, as a viewer, don't necessarily know which way it's going. As a Hallmark fan, it's relatively predictable, but not completely. There were a few things that I wasn't expecting with regards to the development of the narrative and the development of the relationships of the various characters. We also have her daughter, Alexa, who is... um, obviously going to school there and she has a young love of her own um, in the form of JP, uh, played by Benjamin Sutherland. I will be honest, um, when they first meet, he is the bellboy, he's taken the luggage out of their car for the ho- to take it into the hotel and she smiles at him and he smiles back and I just thought if this wasn't a Hallmark film she'd be murdered within the next 10 minutes. But it's not a Hallmark film, it's not creepy, it's very, very cheesy. If you like Paris, the beautiful city, we get to see some gorgeous aspects of Paris. Although I don't know how much of it was actually filmed there. But certainly we get to see some bits of Paris. If you like Paris, you'll really like this as a backdrop. Um, you know, It's a really lovely setting. And while the cheesy romantic aspect doesn't really fill me with too much excitement, uh, I thought the narrative was actually pretty decent. A lot better than I expected. It's not as good as the poster art made me wanted it to, made me want it to be. That's that's a bit of a tongue twister, but I enjoyed it. I'm glad I finally took the plunge and watched it. It is as cheesy as it as the description made it sound, but I'd still recommend it.